Oh, welcome back to Fear and Hunger. The... Wait, what was it? Date Nights? Night Nights? Dark Nights? Night Nights? I can't remember. We're going to load up again. It's the prom thing. The prom game. Doing part two. It's been a while, and we're going to go... Day two. It's been a while, I do apologize. I'm recording again. I have time. I have some time. Let's get into day two. With Pocket Cat being the teacher. He's He's got a pretty cool face. Look at that. That's, that's kind of... I don't know if I'd say cute, but, I mean, Pocket Cat is kind of a fucking weirdo. But yeah, let's get into him. Magnificent day, my pupils. Another blessed day. In this blessed company, you should value every fleeting moment of your youth. Then again, not all of you are that young anymore. Giggle. All apologies, I didn't mean to make you feel old or anything to that degree. Age is but a number, after all, for some reason. That number is just higher than the others, and for some... Eh, this isn't really helping anything, is it? Ranting about youth, are we? I was trying to have a light start of the day because our subject is a heavy kind. We are having this psychology class today and we are talking about depression. A bit of a killjoy, eh? Of course, since I know next to nothing about real sciences behind psychology, you should take all this with a grain of salt. These are just my ideas on the subject. So depression. What depression is, the word comes from the term depressed of the mind. Well, not really, I just made that up. But it sounds fitting, right? Right! I mean, Pocket Cat is both... would probably agree with me no matter what I said, as long as I don't not respond. Mm. He doesn't like people who are yes bots, but he'll love you anyways if you disagree with him. But it hurts him, but he knows what you mean. I'll say right. Yeah, for sure. Kahara, my favorite pupil. There are no right answers, but I'm glad you participated. Exactly, see? Maybe I should explain a bit more. You see, often depression starts to loom o over one because of a traumatic event or because of a longer-term oppressing atmosphere. Whatever is the case, it drains the mind, it exhausts your brains. And what do you require when you exhaust your physical endurance? What do you need when your body is calling quits? You need to work out more. You need rest! Sleep! You need to sleep it off. Sleep! That's genius! Just like your body, your mind needs rest. What the mind needs after such exhaustion is deep rest. That's why it might feel like there's nothing but numbing pain and darkness in the world. Because your mind is in a state of deep rest. I'd like to tell that it'll get better once it has had its sleep, but the sleep might end up way too long. I think I was trying to get s go somewhere with all of this. I couldn't leave you all without answers now, could I? Well, too bad. We are on overtime already. The class ended a few minutes ago already. Let's continue our deep discussion some other time. I guess Pocket Cat might make a good teacher. I mean, he's very lax. Sup, you? Are you still edgy? You're still there. Can't you see I'm reading now? I got no interest in wasting my time with the legs of you. Yeah, I don't need to question... Skeleton. No. You. Hmm. What's on your mind? I lost a cable fur into the dungeons the other day. I can't remember where I dropped it, I'm afraid. Oh. So, if I wanted to go out with Viking Man, I'd have to go find his thing, like I did with the, the bird. Now, the only question I have is time. Is the game a day and night cycle? The longer I play, or like, could I rush in the dungeon, find this thing, come back to class before it's nighttime and everyone's gone because the school closes after too long? I don't know. I'm not going after that dude. I, I want either the bird or Nelvin. The girl is lost in her thoughts while looking outside the window. Can I, can I look too? Sup, Griffith wannabe? If I am to become a knight, I'd really need the proper gear. I'm still missing a sword that would fit a true knight. Oh, and she's just lost in his eyes. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of a conversation. Fuck you. I'll see Pocket Cat. This guy's just stare staring at the painting. The tormented one is observing the investi and investigating the painting on the wall. The painting has a moody and misty scenery. With outskirts of a small village, upon closer inspection, you start to notice different things that are off in the picture. You notice ominous shadows in the windows. You notice how crooked some of the trees truly are. And when looking at the picture from a, from the picture at a, from a distance, you notice the painting forms the shape of a vile face. The tormented one is investigating all the little details found from the picture. 
Did you notice there's a shape of a face hidden here? Talk about forced edginess. I mean, he likes edginess. That'll insult him. I like pictures like these, with lots of hidden detail. If you notice on one, he'd probably think you're just trying too hard. So just talking about the broad subject, he should like it. The tormented one seems to be agreeing with you casually by slightly nodding his head while you talk. But he doesn't seem to be too interested in your words. Oh no. Damn. Maybe I should have done the, the face thing just to know I am very observant. Shit. Oh well. Let's go see Pocket Cat. Because we know the bird, or Chromaller, is outside. Headmaster... We'll, we'll question this. This just looks like Lagarde? It's an old Iron Maiden and looks like someone's inside. Fancy seeing you here. You little pupils of mine visit me way too rarely. What did you think of today's class? Loved it. It touched me deeply. That's what I try to do. Touch from real deep where it matters the most. You keep being you, co uh, Pocket Cat. I was going to call him Copycat. Speaking of touching deep, funny it came up because I do have deep pockets too. Not that I'm asking you to touch there, of course. I so, I so love to teach. I really think I was born for this job. So many young people with open minds. Yes, open minds. Open minds, open wallets, open other things. Who knows? I don't know where Nilvin is, so I gotta find her. Because this place is, as the developer even says themselves, it's a complete sausage fest. So I got to just go with it, because Crow Mauler, because he's a crow. Um, or find Nilvin, like the, the only person with boobs. Because I'm, I'm basically straight white hetero male, hurry! <laughs> you know, all that shit. Make, a, make the social justice warriors cry about it. So yeah, I shouldn't even buy anything from this dude. I don't know why I would need to. Decoration of furniture is like to take someone up to prom and probably bring him over to my room and have it look all nice, but buying a sword when I could find better in the dungeon. I don't know. I'll talk to the bird and then go in the dungeons and just complete it. He's stalking Nilvin. What's up, Crow? Qua? Crow Muller surprised. We already go went through this. It's nice weather. Qua qua. Kaka, the crow man is excited about you. Seems like you made a friend of him already. Yeah. Moonless is patrolling the area. Oh, hi. And gives me a smile, but she's also looking around. Are you looking for something? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm trying looking for stray cats. I'm sure there are some around here. Yeah, there's a stray dog right behind you. But stray cat? The only cat I know of is pocket cat, but... Uh, I can try helping you. Well, there is this Moonless. That's that good enough? I don't think you'll find the mayor checking it. <laughs> there is the Moonless. Um... Oh yeah, I love Moonless. She's our school mascot after all. Hmm, can't seem to find one. Nothing seems to be lost, I guess. Maybe I really should have asked if uh, she wanted me to help her find her a cat that may or may not exist. Okay. Well, my chances of Nilvin might be completely off. Well, I mean, bros before hoes, am I right? Might have to end up with the crow bro. I'm making up these puns out of nowhere, I swear to god. But yeah, crow bro. Crow bros before hoes. But what would he s uh, we already We already finished the dungeons, so we're gonna go to level 2. Oh wait, isn't this too far? Actually no, when I left the area, this, this is the level 2. Okay, let's just try not to die. Or engage in any enemies. Because equipment wise. Uh, I guess I'll wear the pinecone pig. I don't think I have anything. We have a bunch of bear traps we can use, thankfully, but we don't feel like sleeping here. As long as I don't run into any weird enemies or powerful enemies. Eh, like a guard. I don't. We don't have like a party or anything to take them out. I don't know how long. Ooh. Nothing. Great. Can I loop de loop? Ah! I can! So I can have the guard chase me and go loop de loop. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. Come on! Spot me! Spot me! What? 
Is he? Okay. Oh god, it, it, now he does? Weird, but okay. I should be able to defeat the birds at the very least. Iron Mace, nice. Uh, yoink. Eyeglasses, wait, what? Ah! Uh, I don't even want to try. Because I don't have a party. I don't want to... Hmm, because we don't have anything to... They, they attack and make you bleed. I don't have bandages or cloth. Um... Mm, fuck it, let's see if I can kill one in one hit. Yes, okay. See, bleeding. And another one! As long as I don't miss them. Okay, no missing, please. Thank god, okay. Let's just get rid of them so they're not my fucking way. As for bleeding... Uh... Could I... No. See, I'm not bleeding. And infected! Ah, shit. Blue Herb. I can't remember if that was like Resident Evil where it's like it, it boosts. No, it's healing shit. So I don't have the right herbs to cure infection. And I don't have a reg. Or do I have a reg and I'm just not paying attention? No. Oh, po no, I don't have poisoning. Okay, we need to find the right stuff to cure or else I'm just gonna slowly turn to shit. But thankfully we have lockpicking. Doll. Maybe I can give the doll to the girl. Not that would help in the- Oh god, no. Not that would help me in my situation, but still. What? You just- Oh, okay. This, uh... This does not help me. Okay, he's going- Get the fuck away from me, I don't- No! Get the fuck out of here! I want to deal with you! Thank god. It's way too risky. Ooh. Soul stone, hell yeah. Okay, let's see if that was the dude down here. Then I can finish looting the boxes. Blueberries? Nothing. Eyeglasses. What the fuck? Sharp teeth. Eyeglasses. You can s improves the accuracy. Oh, I prefer that then. Interesting. Shark teeth. A crude makeshift saw blade. The razor edge of the blade easily tears soft skin. One damage more, but I'm curious if it makes the enemy bleed or not. I suspect it would. Sharp teeth. That sounds cool. It's a new weapon that's a part of the main games, so it's also in this. I fell down, my legs are busted. Is this the way I die, alone in a wet pitch black dungeon that smells like blood and semen? <laughs> What's the smell of semen? I don't even know, man. I mean, people say the dungeon smells like blood and semen, it's like... I know what blood smells like, it smells of iron, but... Semen has a smell? I mean, I haven't been in some kind of, like, fucking crazed orgy. I know the... This is a weird fucking topic to get into, but I know you know, the musky smell of uh, a room where someone's already had sex in, and it just, you know, has that musky smell. But semen in itself doesn't really have an inherent smell, I wouldn't say. So it's kind of a weird thing to hear people say, Oh, this smells like blood and semen. No! Goddamn! It's a weird thing to say. Let's hopefully he doesn't shoot at me. I don't want... There we go. Get the fuck out of here. We have dash, but I mean, I gotta make it so... Oh my god. Let's just lose him. Get out of here. My health and hunger are getting worse. Okay, hopefully that guard is fucked off a little bit, because I gotta go to the right. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta make sure... He's looking downward, I gotta make it so he moves right and then I follow him. Huh? Huh? Yes! Okay. That'll do, that'll do. 
long as they don't run into another one. Nothing. Bone saw. Like, I don't need a bone saw. Is this the end end? The gate is jammed. Nothing. Cloth? Oh, I, I, like, I could tear the cloth hood, but I don't... Oh my god. I don't have the recipe. Mm. Okay, you can chase me. That's good. No! Okay, I got stuck. Fuck me. I gotta get around him. Come on, successfully, please. Thank god. Oh my god, no, I can't move to the left. Yes! Fuck you! Glass vial. No more guards, please. Oh, it's a crawling ghoul. I think if I go up the stairs, I'll, um... Why not? I, it'll leave the level, so I'm not gonna do that. Where the fuck? Oh, there you are. Green herb. Ah, that'll help. With my... Infection. There we go. Because I'm losing health as well as my sanity. Well, sanity not so much. And... Blue vial. And a chest. A silver coin. I don't want silver... Dirty magazine! I mean, that's the benefit of getting this far, I guess. Hmm, that's it? Yeah, sure, light the candle. I don't know, whatever. Let's leave, I guess. We're done. I have to see if the school is still open. Like, if doing the entire dungeon... If... Going in... Completing it... Depending if it's time-based, or t depending on just clearing a dungeon makes it so I can't enter the school again because it's nighttime. Let's find out. Yep, the school's closed, so the dungeon I'll leave to the last thing I have to do. Um, but we have a bunch of weird shit, like... Dirty magazine. Full of men and women in questionable poses. You, clearly these are specific things meant for specific characters wanting it. I'm not sure who, but it's just, yeah, one of them will. Probably not Crowmaller. Oh well. I'm gonna find what shop sells me uh, bandages so I can get rid of the bleeding, though. I could get a cloth fragment. Was it a cloth fragment I use? I guess. I don't have that many... Hmm. I don't know. Thankfully, I don't need to buy keys because I'm a lockpicker. I'll buy... That's a lot for cloth fragment, though. Yeah. That's what I needed, though. I also need food. Meat pie. Um, I know cabbage was like 20 or 30 hunger, but meat pie would be like 60 or 80. So, fuck it, I'll, I'll get the meat pie. Just because I want to not buy multiple. There we go. Okay, so we're done for the night, I guess. I'll try to roam around to see if I can find any other characters, but I think for this episode... Just doing night two. Nothing's in the Hexen. Armory, I don't think... I don't think there should be anything. And we can't... Shark teeth are ten. See, this is a complete waste to buy... What was that? I bought the long sword. Seven silver. Bone shears. That sounds awesome. Oh man, I could buy the circle spear. Forty. I, I keep forgetting the cost of that. But definitely need to buy armor. What kind of armor exists in the game now? Ooh, arm guards and leg guards are pretty cheap. Ooh, and a gaunt plate armor. That's nice. I could really, really uh, raise up my defense. Hmm. It depends, though. Because like a lot of people say, oh, well, defense is meaningless in the game. Because that's still... That problem of what some modders and people say, the stat means nothing. Attack is fine. Or was it attack is doesn't matter? Attack doesn't matter, but defense is fine? I can't remember, but either way. I don't know. I'll just find the shit and just avoid enemies. Perhaps later down in the dungeons, when it's a lot more dangerous, I might not be able to run from enemies. I don't know. But nonetheless, I think the night is over. It'd be funny to jump down the toilet. I think I'll try that the next night before I possibly end the episode. Let's see. The door is still locked here. Alright. We'll save the game. End the episode. 
and um, and the episode end. But what am I thinking? And the episode and uh, jump down the toilet because I want to see what happens in this mode if it's not just the same as you know the main game. Call it a day. Okay. What's changed? Oh, damn. I could go for copycat, too. Damn. Or pocket cat. God damn. Pocket cat, Nilvin, and Crow Mauler. I, I could have a, a crow goddess and pedo cat orgy, apparently. I don't know if I'd be interested in that at all. I, that'd be weird. I don't know, there's a lot, a lot of weird things. I'm gonna skip ahead so you guys don't get spoiled about what's said here. I'm gonna go straight to the toilet, so give me a second. Alright, let's take the plunge. It smells of semen. Feces and blood and death I can understand, because when you have a really rancid shit, it too can smell like death and feces at the same time. So yeah, let's uh, take the plunge. Your ankle feels hurt a little from the fall. You seem... it seems to be hopeless. You failed to grip at anything. It appears to have been a mistake. The walls are covered in mucus and all things horrible. And we just give up and die in the toilet. Forever to become a, cor a carcass in the toilet to be shat on forever. I think at some point the game t asks if you just want to kill yourself. Or I have to just kill myself in this menu. <laughs> Suicide. Take your own life. Yep. The blood feels warm. It's better than warm poop following on you. Hey, we ended night three um, horribly. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna try to play more. We'll, we'll try to get maybe all three of them, where it's like we'll have Pocket Cat, uh, Pocket Cat, Nilvan, and Crowmaller as choices at the end of the game. So then we can have those three endings. Because honestly, personally, I'm not really interested in anyone else in this game. No, I'm not interested in Nazra. Not really interested in Viking Dude or anyone else. Or Tormented Dude. If you guys are curious, you can get in this mode absolutely easily, as I had explained in the previous episode. Where you just had to type in schoolboy or school kid or school girl as your name, and it should open up this game. So if you have fear and hunger, you can play this mode and date whoever you want. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, the notification down below for updates on, your, on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.